Hello and welcome. My name's Leanne. I live in Australia and this is my crafty cupboard. Well, have I had fun thrifting. <laughs> this um, haul actually came from two different shops on two different occasions, um, but I've just been gathering it together in the basket and grouping all the like items. So let's get into it. So these weren't thrifted, already had these, but I knew I wanted some plain fabric to embroider on and I found these. So this one's just like a plain cotton, plain homespun or something. Uh, this one's thicker, but I thought that still might be quite good to embroider on. It's quite a stiff, firm fabric, so we'll see how we go with that. But I wanted this for a dictionary of stitches. So I'm joining in with Christine. Christine of Create and Craft with Christine's doing a dictionary of stitches at the moment. Um, and I'm going to do mine all over the letters of the alphabet. So that's um, the A so far with the I in stitch. So that's why I wanted all that fabric. Um, and I'll just be turning this into a book. So I'll be sewing the edges right side together and turning it in. And so that will be one signature in the book. Um, so I needed a good length of fabric for that. And yeah, I got it for a dollar. <laughs> so that was a good find. Um, every time I go, I try and look out for silk ribbon and I have never found it. But this time I hit <laughs> jackpot. Um, so this bundle of second hands were $3. Got quite the good rainbow there and I was really pleased to find the yellows. For some reason I find it hard to get a good strong yellow silk ribbon. They're often very pale. And these ones were 50 cents each. Gorgeous little rainbow of silk ribbon. So I'm very excited about that. Here in the front, um, these are all just bundles of silk and other fabrics, just scraps that I just rolled up into little fabric roses. So I thought that was a cute way to to store them, to remember that I have them, it might inspire me for a project. Sort of thinking of, um, you know, as embellishment on a scarf, on a wool scarf or something. I don't know yet. <laughs> a lovely old Simcoe thread reel with the best colour on it. <laughs> I had to pick that up. A uh, scrap of wool felt for 20 cents bargain. Thank you very much. I'll take you home. And then these were my absolute treasure hunt treasures. So um, one store just had a massive bar, um, tub filled with um, DMC cottons, probably from tapestries from the 70s, I'd say, by looking at the, the colour schemes, you know, those sort of browns and dark dirty greens and things and I thought let's have a rummage. <laughs> now, I don't tend to use the thicker wools so I had a good rummage and hidden in all of those thicker tapestry wools was this rainbow of prettiness. So all these Appletons. So and one mohair mohair. I mentioned before on another video how soft these ones are. I love them. Yes, yeah, so that was a lovely find. Um, and they ranged in prices. So, because I again got these from two different stores. So some some were a dollar each, and some were. I think it was. 
five for three dollars or something <laughs> okay and then fabrics i was looking for fabrics that i can embroider on so got these two blues thought i'd give those a go again just a dollar each um this one i thought might come in useful for making sort of ribbon roses or you know scrunching up and stitching and a couple of organzas which work really well to lay over and add a shot of colour on the plain backgrounds. I'm always trying to find greens and I woke up really happy this morning thinking that I'd found green um, but it was just a dream unfortunately <laughs> I dreamt I dreamt about finding green organzas um, and this is sort of a mauvey grey it's grey but it's got this sort of shot of mauve through it so there'll be some good things to stitch on and then this one, all of these were in a bag for $3. <laughs> but the real treasure part of it was that there were little pieces that the lady had been working on. Look at this, how pretty. This one's my little favourite. So lovely. So I've been inspired by Corinne and the muted neutrals um, that she does. And I thought it's time for me to, to try. To get a little collection and and see what I can make and <laughs> this was seven dollars labeled a garden of green look at this how beautiful the volunteer at the store told me that she actually had put this together watching TV that she'd sat there and wrapped these on and I was very very grateful because I'm always attracted to the pinks and the blues and the mauves and I tend to forget to pick up green. And what do we need a lot of when we stitch flowers? So I think I'm covered now. <laughs> well, that was my thrifty Thursday. It was actually two thrifty Thursdays put together. Um, and I'm gonna keep it just sitting on this basket on the table to keep me inspired of what to create next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.